Hey guys, welcome back to The Curly Reader. My name's Amanda, and today I wanna to share with you some of my favorite bookish podcasts. Okay, so I have gotten really into podcasts lately. I have always been a huge audiobook listener. I've watched a ton of YouTube, I've been into Bookstagram, but I have never been huge into podcasts. And I would say over the last two months, that has really changed. And I've gotten really into podcasts, um, more so even than like watching booktube and being on Instagram and listening to audiobooks. I still listen to a ton of audiobooks, but occasionally I'm just in the mood for a podcast. So um, I did a little bit of research and dug into looking into some new bookish podcasts. And I found some that I've been loving. Um, I have listened to multiple episodes from every podcast that I'm sharing with you today. And yeah, I've just, I've been really impressed and thoroughly enjoyed the content that are be, that is being put out by all these ladies. And so, yeah, let's just kind of get into this. So I have one, two, three, four, five five podcasts to share with you today. Um, the first one that I want to share with you is Currently Reading. This is a very popular podcast. I am sure I am not the first person to tell you about this, but if you're here and you've never heard about them, I highly, highly suggest you check them out. Um, this podcast is put on by Meredith Monday Schwartz and Katie forget her last name. Um, and Katie, those are the main two hosts though. And they have guest hosts that will come in occasionally, but those are the main two hosts. They pride themselves on being light on the chit chat and heavy on the book talk. And so they don't chat about a lot of stuff, but they always share what they're currently reading, some of their recent reads. They have a bookish discussion, and then they will talk about something bookish related at the end. And I really enjoy their podcast. I get a lot of really good recommendations from them. They have a, they both read a wide variety of things. Um, each of them has a kind of different taste. They are always super positive about what they say about the book. So even if a book doesn't work for them they still credit what the book does well and I really enjoy that because sometimes I know as readers if we don't jive with a book we can be really negative about it and that might prevent somebody else from reading it but even if they personally don't jive with a book they will always point out the good things that the book did or who they think might like the book and so I really really like that about them they also will never ever spoil a book and so that's always a plus and yeah they are just they're so they have it down to a T um, they do have a patreon community as well that is very large and flourishing and so there are lots of options there as well and so highly suggest them. I actually started listening to them because my friend Krista at Books and Jams, you know, was raving about it. And so anyway, she's the one that got me turned on to them. And I really, really enjoy their content. All right. Next, I want to share with you from the front porch. This is the podcast that is put on by Bookshelf Thomasville. That is an indie pub, an indie bookstore an indie bookstore in Thomasville, Georgia. And the podcast is put on by its owner, Annie, and she will sit down with different people from time to time and talk about different bookish things. So they will talk about books that are coming up recently, uh, or not recently, but like soon, books that will be hitting the bookstore sh shelves soon. Wow, I'm having a hard time talking today. Um, they also talk about, you know, books they've read recently. They will talk about specific topics in books. Um, she will sometimes just have like little chit chat sessions with her cousin, which I love. Their, those sessions are called at the kids table, I believe. And it's just her and her cousin kind of shooting the breeze. And I love those episodes. And so yeah, I will say Annie reads a lot more literary fiction than what I personally read, but I've gotten a couple of really good recommendations from her as well. And so I just, I enjoy her just style and the Southern kind of charm that she has. And yeah, I just, I really, really enjoy what she brings to the table, especially as the owner of an indie bookstore. Um, you know, that can be, that can be hard. And so she just is always so positive and I really enjoy her perspective on things. 
All right, another podcast that I have been loving is Literally Reading. This is a podcast that is hosted by two friends, Ellie and Tracy, who have an in real life book club that they host together. And they also host this podcast. And they are, I believe they're both moms, and they will just share what they're reading, what they're anticipating. They talk about their book club a lot. They are so super, super sweet. They read a huge variety individually, like, and they will tell you like, yes, this one's for you, Ellie. No, you might not like this one, but I really, and so as you see yourself identifying like more with one or the other, you'll kind of key into which, you know, book recommendations might be more for you. I just, I love their charm. They're both moms and they just, I just feel like a kindred spirit towards them. And so I highly suggest you check them out. They're fantastic. I really, really loved, love their podcast. And so, yeah, I believe they put podcasts out every other week. Um, currently reading is every week. And I believe from the front porch is every week as well. I believe literally reading is every other week. All right, next I wanna talk about reading glasses. Reading Glasses is another very large podcast. I had never heard of them before. Um, so I do know that they have a fairly large following. Um, this podcast is hosted by Bria Grant and Mallory O'Meara. I think one is a public is an editor maybe and one is a screenwriter I believe um the one thing I will caution you about on this specific podcast is there is explicit language and so if that's not your jam don't go for this one um there is some language but the thing that I like about reading glasses is they don't just talk about books they talk about bookish related things so they'll have like a tech session where they talk about book tech bookish tech things like book lights or apps or different things like that how to organize your books, how to track your books. Um, they talk about reading positions. What's the best reading position? Different things like that. And I love that it's not just book recommendations, but other topics that we love to talk about as readers. They also do super specific book recommendations. So like one time a teacher wrote in and said she needs something, she teaches in a high school and she needs something to recommend to boys who are interested in cars. So, you know, things like that, and they'll talk about that. They'll um, talk about, you know, the books that they're currently reading, what they're, you know, what they're looking forward to, the normal stuff as well. But those are just some of the things that they talk about that aren't specific to books. They'll talk about like more general bookish topics, which I really love. Also, their humor is fantastic. I think it's great. But like I said, you do want to be careful about the language component if that is something that you are sensitive to. All right, and then the last one that I wanna talk about today is Reading Through Life. This is a podcast that is hosted by two friends, Sarah and Mia. Um, one of them, I believe, is a traveling RV, her husband is a traveling RV repairman, and so she travels, she lives the RV traveling life. Um, and so they are, I believe, both moms, but they their podcast is very reminiscent of currently reading. They've been a um, producing podcasts for about a year now. They also have a Patreon community, um, but they definitely get more into the chit chat than currently reading would. And so they definitely just kind of chit chat more about life and their friendship, but also getting into the books and what they're each reading. Also, they read very a very wide variety of things. Um, and I love their just their camaraderie with each other. You can tell that they're really, really great friends and they have a really great perspective on the books that they share and so I think that that's fantastic um and so yeah I've really enjoyed listening to the episodes of their podcast so those are five bookish podcasts that I have been listening to recently that I have been really really loving if you have any other bookish podcasts that you would recommend I would love if you would leave those in the comments down below because I would love to check even more out if there are more that like I said you love um and yeah be sure to go check some of these out if they sound interesting to you um let me know if you're a podcast listener if there are any other podcasts not just bookish related that you particularly enjoy um and i'll share a couple of my favorites down in the comments as well so that's gonna do it for today i hope that you really enjoyed this i hope that you'll stick around and subscribe and until next time
See ya.